Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Looking at SPY on the daily, weekly, shorter term timeframes, yet another bullish day here. New all time high for the third day in a row. But we do have a gap up pattern to be watching, a three gap up bearish reversal pattern where if we see a bearish reversal candlestick tomorrow, we will be looking for normal healthy consolidation. This pattern indicates that the bulls are getting exhausted to the upside. So even if we do hit a new all-time high tomorrow, by the end of the day, if we see some profit taking in an upper wick, potentially a doji or another bearish reversal candlestick, we will be keeping an eye out for that normal healthy consolidation. First target will be 231.77, which is the filling of the first gap. And then we'll be looking at the middle Bollinger Band, which is continuing to ascend and act as support. The weekly time frame off to a great start. Higher highs still in play. And there's no indication that the bulls are slowing down at this point. So other than that gap up pattern, three gap ups indicating overbought conditions in the sense that the bulls are exhausting themselves to the upside. That's the only thing that would have me looking for some consolidation at this point. And if we look at the shorter term time frames on the five minute time frame, the bulls were out in force this morning. An initial 15-minute move, we consolidated, formed a higher low compared to the low of the day. Higher high, higher low, higher highs. We never broke this pattern. So we had a key support level for me throughout the day. Once I saw this level of 232.30, 232.33, and then 232.38. So I knew the 232.30s were key support levels to be watching. And as long as those levels were maintained as support, the bulls were going to be strong and in control. So we did see profit taking by the end of the day. And we broke the strongest higher low pattern. But judging where we came from, we had a clear bull break in the afternoon, the early afternoon. And then we consolidated. And this consolidation looks normal and healthy to me. And you look at different time frames to gauge what the consolidation looks like. So I can see here on the five minute time frame, there's no high volume bearish candlesticks, there's no big dump candlesticks. And to confirm that, I look at the hourly time frame, and it looks like a bull flag of consolidation. After a very bullish start to the day, Two candlesticks consolidating. Look how we ended Friday. Bullish start to the day. Two red candlesticks of consolidation holding exponential moving average support. Same exact pattern here. Definitely a little bit more volume to be aware of, but the bulls are in full control. The RSI on the hourly getting very overbought up at 88.89 and now consolidating back down. Still in the upper 70s, but the bulls are in full control. So that has been the story for three days. Everybody, is looking in the opposite direction and I would not be looking in the opposite direction. I'd be ready to be playing in the opposite direction, but until we see the signals and at a bare minimum, you got to lose the hourly exponential moving average supports in order to see any kind of pullback. And we've been holding them for days. So there has been no indication to go bearish. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It could happen tomorrow. We are looking for a bearish reversal candlestick to form on the daily tomorrow. And then we'll be looking for that normal healthy pullback and consolidation. So we will check back in tomorrow after the close. And we'll see if we get that bearish reversal candlestick. Again, we could hit a new all-time high tomorrow. That doesn't mean we're not going to see a bearish reversal candlestick. So we'll be taking it one day at a time and watching the higher low patterns on the hourly and the five-minute. We'll check back in tomorrow. I'll see you then.